Hello tennis friends, Tiffany here at Tennis Express, waiting ever so patiently for the US Open that will bring this Grand Slam season to a close. Neither Nadal nor Federer went all the way at Wimbledon, but of course, we still love them no matter what. And we still keep an eye on Rafa's trend-setting style and Roger's classic looks. So here's what you can expect from these two men between now and the return to the top of the next major tourney. Federer will be sporting the Nike Men's Premier RF Tennis Polo. The subdued color strikes the perfect tone for the tournaments leading up to the US Open where, spoiler alert, he will go a little bolder in what Nike is calling prize blue. As is the case with most Nike pieces, the Premier RF Polo features dry fit technology that's not only cool to the touch, but works hard at keeping your body cool by wicking away that pesky sweat that can keep you from commanding the court comfortably. The design itself is rather stunning in my opinion, with a solid back and sides and light armory blue, set off by dark armory blue at the collar and swoosh. Contrast side mesh insets increase ventilation and breathability, while the front features a screen printed pin dot pattern fading to solid at the bottom. The fading being known as, here's your fashion term du jour, ombre style. Design details like a bonded placket exemplify that dependable Nike construction while the heat-pressed RF logo on the left sleeve shows the world that you know style. The polo will be paired with a Nike 9-inch twill short in white, which features the hook and loop closure that Roger loves, plus slanted side pockets that provide secure ball storage. Now Nadal will be wearing blue as well, but true to form, we'll let his pieces speak a little more loudly. The Nike men's premier Rafa tennis crew is super soft to the touch, and also incorporates dry fit technology to tackle sweat. It's even stretchier than the RF polo, and has a curved hem for an ergonomic fit that allows for complete freedom of movement. This piece has back and underarm mesh panels for enhanced ventilation, plus, like the shorts he wore at Wimbledon and on the clay courts, small grommets add some fashion-forward style, but moreover, they do work to keep you dry. Do we even need to mention the sonic yellow color crew with the screen-printed pattern is as hot as his game? Nah, I don't think so. Rafa will be wearing a short very similar to Roger's, but a little shorter to allow for more movement and in dark armory navy. The Nike 8-inch Premier woven short has a draw cord closure that allows for a customized fit and you'll appreciate that the poly spandex blend offers excellent shape retention and washes up well, particularly with our wind detergent that's specifically formulated for athlete wear. Check it out. While warming up, Rafa will also be wearing the coordinating Rafa jacket. The lightweight jacket is made entirely of nylon and something I would certainly borrow from his closet because it has a lot to offer. From a fashion sense, it's two-toned with darker shades along the arms, shoulders, and front. And Nike hasn't overlooked the inside either. Breathable mesh with a pin dot pattern wicks away moisture and makes this jacket seem much more expensive than it really is. More construction conscious details, the collar and cuffs are uber stretchy, double knit, and drum roll please. This jacket does have zippered pockets, which your product reviews tell us is very important to you. For shoes, it's no surprise that Federer will be wearing the Nike Zoom Vapor 9 Tour that he always wears, and Nadal will be wearing the Nike Air Max Court Ballistic 4.3. Now you've heard me talk about these shoes a, a number of times, so this time I thought I'd let y'all share your own stories. These were taken from our product reviews. For the Nike Zoom Vapor 9 Tour, Tim from Colorado says, I find these shoes to be amazing right out of the box. The level of comfort, excellent support, and lightweight makes the Vapor 9 shoe a winner on every level. I also enjoy the way the lace system works on these, giving a good fit without binding. Thomas from Texas says, it felt good right out of the box, holding up well with 25 hours of singles and drills. Best thing is the flex compared to other tennis shoes, which can be stiff and clunky. Now for the Court Ballistic 4.3, Trevor from Pennsylvania says, they feel like slippers. And Jacob from Texas says, I bought these shoes prior to going to regionals and state in my tennis high school. They were comfortable from the first time I put them on. I've had three pairs of court ballistics and have loved every pair of them. Uh, Jose from New Jersey says, by far my favorite tennis shoes out there. The look and feel are unmatched. I constantly get compliments and not usually from tennis players, but just random people. I coach tennis and I'm on the court at least five days a week. So the durability in the shoes is also a plus. And there you have it, everyone. Stay tuned for the deets on the actual U.S. Open night and day wear as we get closer to the event. In the meantime, leave us a note below and let us know how we're doing and what other products you'd like to see in video. And don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel, chat us up on Facebook and Twitter, pin our products, and come see us at our new superstore at 10770 Westheimer in Houston for the ultimate tennis shopping experience. Until next time.